Okay, so I am just putting some of the finishing touches on this one. Okay, so I am just putting some of the finishing touches on this walking, this mini course on walking. And I am super excited about it because I am a very firm believer that it's the little things that we do all day long that make the biggest difference. I want you to work out. I want you to know how to connect all these pieces to your workout. But if you then go and undo your effort throughout the rest of the day, you're not really going to get anywhere. And walking is such a foundational piece in my mind because it involves your whole body. It connects pieces that are far away from each other. It ties together pieces that are close to each other. And it has this reciprocal, rhythmical pattern that can help you connect dots and tease out what's different between one side and the other. But as you can tell, I get super excited about it and I can't wait to share this with y'all. So over the, so next, over the couple next couple of weeks, weeks I, want I want to, to um, spend, spend a bunch of time, time talking about walking and, and how, how it ties together all these pieces. pieces. Um, and, then and then starting, starting the week of October 2nd, so like October, October 2nd, 2nd through, through the 8th, 8th, you will be you able, able to sign up for the course, the welcome like section will be available to you. And then starting on October 9th, we'll do the course for five days. We'll do a day on feet, we'll do a day on hips, we'll do a day on pelvis, we'll do a day on spine. And then we'll do uh, like tying it all tying it together, together then. Together. But if you want to make sure that you don't miss it, sign up in the link in my bio for our put it on here too for um, my newsletter, and it will come straight to your to your inbox. You can sign up for it there. And um, as far as walking today. Um, I love the arm swing because most people don't stop to think about it. So when you walk, your opposite arm should swing out with that leg. So one side, the arm and the leg should be behind you. One side, the arm and the leg should be in front of you. And it creates this rotation and counter rotation that helps keep you from crunching or gripping or blocking your motion. And when you get this freely swinging, rotating, rhythmic pattern, then not only does it help you to walk better, but it keeps you from gripping. And so one thing that I think is really cool is that when your opposite arm and opposite leg come forward, you're creating length from your shoulder on one side across your back to your like leg on the other side. So that is lengthening. And when that lengthens, then it is it has more potential energy to contract to push you forward into the next step. And it helps you to create momentum and to use that energy to propel yourself. However, when you lack an arm swing, you have to be holding yourself down. You can't create as much momentum and somebody has to work harder or you have to walk slower or you're gonna take shorter steps. Or if you're only swinging on one side and the other side is not swinging, then you're only rotating in one direction and you're not rotating both directions. So you're not getting the same function from both sides. And what you think that you're doing is not like the, the contractions and the relaxation that you're trying to create are not happening in the same way on both sides. So hopefully that gives you something to think about and more to come next week.